Let's start out by making a spawn. Oopsies. Alright, so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a GUI. That's also part of what you're gonna learn here. One second, I gotta edit all this for my speed builds. Alright, there we go. Um, let's copy and paste this. Let's rename this one spawn. Alright, let's lock it and color it. Um, if you guys are wondering why I'm telling you all this obvious stuff, this is just so that uh, you can get your uh, simple place started out. So, you will be able to, um, I'm just doing this so there's parts in the workspace for me to edit. I should probably, probably, uh, lock this. Wait, this isn't the spawn, is it? No, it's the base. And let's anchor it. This is a spawn. I think it is. Oh wait, no, no, this is a spawn. Alright, so we can rename this part 1, and let's move this over and name it part 2, and let's move this over and name it part 3. Alright, so now I'm just going to recolor real quick, make some random colors. Uh, so that there's more properties to uh, show you. Alrighty then, um, what you're going to do is go to start a GUI, and then insert a screen GUI. And then frame. And then all right, let's start this out then. Um, let's make this about halfway. Uh, it's visible. Oh yeah, we gotta change the size. Um, let's see how this works. Oopsies. Um, let's move this out a little. Alright, this should be good, I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. And, insert, object, let's make a text button, and let's rename this, uh, let's rename this GUI. And, you guys can really make any size position you want right here. Uh, I'm gonna make mine 75 by 25. And, uh, I'm just gonna pick a color. Hmm. Oh yeah. Forgot, since this is inside the frame. I think we're just gonna... Yeah, we're gonna delete the frame. We're gonna do this... My This is the way I like to do it. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the right way or not, but I just like doing it like this. So, 200 by 450. Uh, half transparent. No name. I mean, no text. Uh, let's rename this... Where's the name? Uh, BG for background. Move it down a bit. And there we go, we have the same thing we just had. Alright, now we're gonna be, uh... Making that button right now. It's gonna open up the GUI. So, let's rename this, uh, GUI. And its text is gonna be... Uh, Open Explorer. Alright. 75. 25. Um, I guess we could, uh, make this fancier. I'm just making this real quick right now. If I was doing this in my own time, it'd look a lot better. Alrighty then, um... So, this is 75, so around 150. Oopsies. Now it looks like around 70. Let's try 75 here. I want to get this centered. Looks like 50. Yep, 50. Alright, now I'm going to make a copy and paste. I'm going to name this X. Um, I'm going to make it look like an X button. So you can close it. I'm going to rename it X. I mean, we, uh, we, uh, text it or whatever. Change this text to X. Um, I guess, yeah. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. Whoopsies, went 180. Alright, so this is all set up now. 
So let's go into the X and go and insert a script real quick. And this is pretty much how you make every button. You create the function. I'm going to create it as poopy. And I'm going to do script.parent. Um, I already renamed this, but I guess I could give you guys a quick reminder. The script is this script right here. And the parent is what's holding it. Kind of like the model it's in or the object it's in. So if you go up one parent, it's X. If you go up two parents, it's the background. If you go up three parents, it's the screen GUI, which is what you want to do right now. And then write all that, and then the remove just deletes it. And um, this is probably the most important part of the script. So you do script, um, yeah, script.parent.mouse, button one, down, connect, and then you write the function, poopy. Um, I'm pretty sure I might have messed that up just now. I haven't done uh, any work with you guys for a little while since that video. Let's see how well it works. It should close if this works right. Yep. Alright, awesome, that works. Perfect. Alright, so now that we have all this set up, you can just copy and paste it into the GUI because you could just use this here. Um, delete the inside of the function. And you could do. I, this is kind of new, I don't think I've taught you guys this before. Let me type it out real quick. Alright, so this right now, um, actually I think it might be, there might not be a space here, but we'll find out. This, that I highlight right here, this pretty much just means for everything inside, and then the quotes right here, the, uh, parentheses, just, are, it's just naming what you're doing, so you could do game.workspace, but you don't have to, you could just put workspace, but it has to be a lower, lowercase w. And then the, uh, the colon, get children with the little function thing right here, that means take everything inside there. And then the V right here is what you want to do with each of those pieces. So let's create a new new uh, text button. So I can uh, teach you guys how to do this right now. Um, if you guys don't know what, why people look, put local and then some sort of thing behind it, it's to make sure that you can keep editing the button over and over in the same script without renaming it. And it's kind of like a tag. So local button equals instance that new. And then uh, text button. That is, that, that, that's like the equivalent of going to insert object and then clicking text button. That, that's what you're telling the game to do right now. So you have all this, and now you want to start creating the button. So the button's parent is going to be e script dot parent dot parent. That means it's going to be inside the BG, the background. Alright, the button dot name is going to be equal to um, b dot name. V right now is the is the, for everything in the workspace, it creates a button, so suppose spawn was the button that it's creating. V would be spawn. So spawn.name. And then button.text equals v.name. So that means you're going to see what it's called. And uh, let's create a size for it. Button.size. This is kind of strange. You don't put in position.new, you put in udim2.new. And there's four spots. Um, this, I don't know why it's like this, but it just has to be. The These numbers right here, so if I put a 1 right here, that'd be all the way across the screen. That's the scale of the screen. And then right here is just how many pixels over, so... I don't know. Let's see how far the uh, GUI over is. So it's... Oh, right now this is the size. So right now, let's make it the size a little bit bigger. Let's make it 100 and... Um, I guess 25 will work. Now let's do a uh, 30, just for the lulz. And then it's actually we should we should probably do this. This is one of the most important parts of the uh, the GUI. Remember I said tags are things that you could uh, use and just keep reusing over and over. Well, here it goes. You do. I'm just gonna use the tag row. You can use any tag. You just gotta make sure you keep using it over and over in the script. So row equals zero. Um, we, we're, I'm gonna put this before the function. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put it right after the function. This means, this is so that every time it creates a new button, it doesn't start a new row tag. So you're going to do row equals row plus one. That way, you'll, you'll see what this does in a second. So button.position equals udim2 dot new. And I'm just going to use the position right here and kind of edit it a little. So I'm going to make it 25, um, whoopsies, 0, 25, 0, and, um... I don't know, 5. And then this right here, the 5, 
is kind of how high it's going to be. So I'm actually going to make this 15, so there's a little bit of space. And then you do 15 times row. Uh, this might be confusing to you, but I'll go over it after I make the script again. And now you do end, and you should be good. Make sure you have the right amount of ends. Damn it. Yeah, I just messed up. I put an extra end. The for means you have to put an end, and the function means you have to put an end. So let's see if this works now. If not, you'll see it in the output right here. Yeah, if you guys hear any background noise, it's just the fan. Alright, let's see if it worked. Oh, it worked, but uh, looks like our scaling's off a little bit. We can go and fix this, I'll show you how to fine tune it now. The problem is the buttons are bigger than the spacing. So we're gonna have to make this a 30. And now you can just make the button all pretty. So I'm gonna do button dot color dot brick color. Um that's just for a little bit of effect, um, fanciness. And then I'll show you guys how to do something with this. I'll show you in a second. Alright, so you open it. Oh, we have a problem. Brick color does not work. Looks like we have to do just plain old color. See, that's why your output is your best friend. And you go to view, and then toolbars. Or actually right here, output. Click it once, and it'll come out. Click it twice, and it'll disappear. Alright, so this should work now. Oh, we still have a problem. Well, that's that's just crazy. Oh yeah, it's background color. My bad, guys. Yeah, even I mess up on this stuff sometimes. Shit. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It works. So, as you can see, if you go into workspace, Everything right here, you'll see over here. Now, since you can't do anything with terrain, it's a little bit useless. So, I'll show you how to get rid of things that you don't want in there. So, suppose you had a spawn location you don't want to have in there, or a terrain thing, like I do. I do not want that in there. So, I'm going to do... If v.name, if the object's name, is not... is not terrain, is not equal to, then it will not do it. And then you got to put another end. So it's going to check and it's going to go through everything and if it's name is terrain, then it's just not going to do anything. Um, let's do, or the dot name is not equal to camera, because you can't really do much with camera either. Alrighty then, I'm just going to make the row right here one so you could uh, see the buttons a little bit easier. Now note, if you have a lot of items in your workspace, then this could flood it a little bit. So you open your explorer. And here you see everything. Oh, it looks like the terrain on the camera went through. Let's go see why. Hmm. Oh, it should probably be and. My bad. I see just little things like that that mess you over. Alright, when it loads, we're gonna be looking into where the buttons play so we can uh, make it a little bit fancier, make it look better. Like, see all the buttons, like, kind of smashed in right there? Alright, awesome. There's, in the workspace, there's a camera and terrain, but you don't want to edit those. So that's pretty cool. Now then, let's go into the GUI, and suppose when you click the button, you want it to do something. So, I have three statements that need an end with them. So we're gonna close, we're gonna fit in a, another one of these... I guess we could just fit in one of these in there. I can just copy and paste it in watch. We gotta find the right one though. Um, yeah, I guess we could, I think we could shove it in right here and it'll work. Um, let's rename this poop you though. So it's a different function name. Then do workspace dot v workspace. Um, I'll explain this in a second. Alright, so, these little things right here, if you use them, you don't need to put a period right before them. This is because if you put workspace.v.name, it's gonna count it literally, it's gonna take it too literally, but here it kinda reads it specially. So you could use a tag in here. Yeah, it's pretty much just for using tags. Um, pretty sure I might have messed something up, something up here, but 
This is what I can try. Oh yeah, I forgot since I messed something up last time. Let's make this 35. 35 low, I mean, so it won't be smashed into the open explore button. Alright, so there's a little bit more space in between them. Alright, let's see if this works now. Part 3. Oh, something's not right here. Alright, let's go back and see what it is. Alright, looks like it's uh, 35 as in how wide it is. So let's make that 33, I guess, for the, for the lulls. Make this 35, my bad. Alright, so, looks like the only problem is, is that it's behind the wrong end. I'll show you what I mean. You just put it in the next one, and let's see if it works now. Thing is, like, I can do this normally pretty easy on my own, but when I do it with, uh, like, being recorded, it's a little bit more, uh, confusing for me, because I have to worry about talking. So, let's delete the part. Oh, it's not working. Let's see what it is. Oh, we could just do V remove. You don't need all that. And then... Oh, this is the problem right here. This is still working up to uh, the top button, so we're gonna rename this to button... The mouse button when down connect. And we're gonna shove it back here. So this makes it for every single button that there is, it's gonna use that function. So you don't have to put a script in every single one of those buttons now. So, uh... Video's wrapping up now. Uh, once, the net, once this uh, video reaches 1,000 views again, or I feel like making a new one, I will make a uh, new one. So see, now when you click it, things disappear. You can see yourself if you click message here, message disappears. Spawn location, deleted that. I can delete myself. You can delete the base, um, close that up, and I just deleted pretty much everything in the game. Alright, so that was fun, and if you guys want to mess around with this or see what progress I get, because I'm probably going to work on this later at uh, my own time, I'm going to upload this as a place right now, and the link will be in the description for it, and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.